I'm Muju, a solution architect at Amazon Web Services. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to enable single sign-on access to Amazon EC2 Windows instances for your workforce users. On the agenda today, I'll discuss the different types of identity sources supported by AWS IAM Identity Center. Next, I will explain why customers choose to enable single sign-on access to Amazon EC2 Windows instances for workforce users. This will be followed by a demo on how you can set this up inside AWS IAM Identity Center. Last, I will leave you with some reference documentation to go ahead and get started. AWS IAM Identity Center helps you to securely create or connect your workforce identities and manage their access centrally across AWS accounts and business applications. IAM Identity Center is the recommended approach for workforce authentication and authorization on AWS for organizations of any size and type. Irrespective of where a customer is in their cloud journey, AWS IAM Identity Center provides customers the freedom to choose their source of identity from Microsoft Active Directory, external IDP like Okta, Azure AD, Ping, and other SAML 2.0 providers as listed on the screen, or customers can also choose to leverage the identity store inside AWS IAM Identity Center as a source for their identities. In this video, we will focus on Active Directory as a source for identities. If you would like to learn more about using Identity Store or an external IDP as a source for identities, please follow the links displayed on the screen. Enabling single sign-on access to Amazon EC2 Windows instance for your workforce has multiple benefits. First, an Active Directory group mapped to an AWS IAM Identity Center permission set simplifies the assignment of AWS account access and Amazon EC2 Windows instances for users and groups in your organization. For example, you can create a System Administrator AD group, map the AD group to a System Administrator permission set that includes policies for administrating Amazon EC2 Windows instances and use that single permission set to grant access to a list of target AWS accounts within your organization. Similarly, you can follow the same process for developers and other job function specific AD groups. This reduces the operational overhead and provides identity administrators a straightforward mechanism to manage access to EC2 Windows instances at scale in your organization. Next, AWS CloudTrail's audit tracking capability provides customers the visibility into actions performed by workforce users. Finally, you are no longer needed to configure remote client access software and share access credentials, which increases security, reduces operational overhead, and licensing cost. Now let's go ahead and get into the demo. For this demo, I've already completed a couple of prerequisites. Specifically, I have completed integration between AWS IAM Identity Center and AWS Managed Microsoft AD. Therefore, by doing this, I'm enabling Active Directory as a source for AWS IAM Identity Center. So the users in this demo, users and groups in this demo are flowing in from my Active Directory into AWS IAM Identity Center. Now, after I enable Active Directory as a source, the next step would be to synchronize Active Directory users and groups to AWS IAM Identity Center. Now, both of this have been documented on the AWS documentation website. Um, scan the QR code or follow these links for more details. Also, to make the synchronization between Active Directory and AWS IAM Identity Center simple and easy, I have created an Active Directory group with the name IAM Identity Center All Users and Groups, and I have added Finance, HR, and Identity Admin groups to that group. The benefit with this process is all the users, Arnav Desai, Maria Garcia, and John Do will be directly added as part of the IAM Identity Center all users and groups inside AWS IAM Identity Center service. As you can see on the screen, my users Maria Garcia, John Do, and Arnav Desai have been synchronized from Microsoft Active Directory to AWS IAM Identity Center. Similarly, their groups have also been synchronized. I can see the identity admin finance, HR, and the parent group for all users and groups, which is IAM Identity Center, all users and groups has been synchronized inside my AWS IAM Identity Center. From here on, I'm going to go ahead and assign access to AWS accounts to some of my users. 
Now, the next step would be to create a permission set for our user Maria Garcia to SSO into EC2 Windows instance using Systems Manager Fleet Manager. In order to accomplish this, from the AWS IAM Identity Center console, go to AWS Accounts, click on select the AWS account where you want to assign Maria Garcia access, click on Assign Users or Groups, and then go to Users select Maria, click on next, and then assign them a permission set that gives single sign-on access to EC2 Windows instance. In order to create this permission set, you can follow the instructions provided in this page on the AWS IAM Identity Center documentation. So to look for this, go to the AWS IAM Identity Center documentation or user guide, click on Workforce Identities, click on Use Cases, and then click on enable single sign-on access to your Amazon EC2 Windows instances. Within this, there is a blog, how to enable secure seamless single sign-on to Amazon EC2 Windows instances with AWS IAM Identity Center. So click on this blog. This should take, if you scroll through down within the blog, you'll find the permission sets or the sample policy that I'm using. So click on this link, copy this entire um, JSON policy, um, and then create your permission set. In order to show this demo, I have already created the permission set with the name Demo Fleet Manager Permission Set. So I'm going to assign this Demo Fleet Manager Permission Set to my user Maria Garcia um, and then demonstrate how they can then go ahead and perform SSO into EC2 Windows instances. As you can see on your screen, I've given access to Demo Fleet Manager Permission Set to both Maria Garcia and John Doe. And if you expand on the permission sets tab within the AWS account, you'll also see the permission set being listed here. So the next step would be to log in as Maria Garcia um, and see if we are able to single sign on into the EC2 Windows instances. Now we will go ahead and validate if Maria Garcia is able to single sign on into EC2 Windows instances without using a third party remote desktop client. So I'll provide Maria's credentials. This should take you to the AWS Identity Center access portal with the list of accounts and accesses being listed. So I'll expand on AWS account. I'll click on this drop down. I'll click on management console, and this should take us directly to systems manager, fleet manager console, where Maria has access to EC2 instances. Okay, we are on the screen now. I'll click, select the checkbox. I'll click on node actions. I'll click on connect with remote desktop. And this should take me to the Fleet Manager console. In here, if you see, I have options to either log in through user credentials, key pair, or single sign-on. Notice that when I select single sign-on, I don't have to provide any other information. I have already logged in once into the AWS IAM Identity Center access portal. That's the only time I have to provide my credentials. Now I just go ahead and click on Connect. And this should open up the remote desktop screen um, and provide Maria access to Windows instance. As you can see, Maria is now logged into the Windows instance and Maria can start performing actions. Let's summarize what we learned from this demo. First, I created an AWS IAM Identity Center permission set for my Active Directory users and group. Next, I assign the custom permission set to the previously created Active Directory group this customized permission set gives workforce users single sign-on access to EC2 Windows instances. To validate this functionality, I then logged in as a workforce user with my AD credentials to access Fleet Manage EC2 instances from Systems Manager, Fleet Manager. Now that you have seen how easy it is to enable single sign-on access to Amazon EC2 Windows instances for your workforce users, here are some more resources for you to get started with AWS IAM Identity Center. If you would like to explore these resources further, please pause the video at this point and scan the QR code to learn more about these resources. Thank you.